Hey guys, so we've added 15,000 users over the last week and that's contributed a little bit to some of the delays in the platform that you've seen. But we want to celebrate with you uh, by showing you some of the new product updates that we've just released with version 1.2.5. So you'll notice over here on the bottom left hand side uh, that it has version 1.2.5. So what does that come with? Uh, so there's a bunch of different enhancements that you'll see to the UI that make everything a lot more usable. So the first thing that you'll notice is on the left-hand side where all of your projects are, you're going to have uh, these little icons. So this will give you an indication of what assets really sit in there. We know a lot of you are sitting there thinking, well, I have so many projects. How do I go through these? You can always search, but then if you prefer to scroll to search, simply just play around, uh, see where these logos are. You can see if you have images, a bunch of text. We know that each project has a whole bunch of info depending on uh, what you're doing. So this is a really easy way for you to be able to do it. Now, uh, another kind of interesting addition that we've had to this is if you click uh, this button up here, so this library button right next to your workspaces button, you'll now see a knowledge library. So this is the basis from which we're going to be able to start to build a whole bunch of interesting projects. Uh, so first prompt history. So if you have prompts that you want to use, all you have to do is simply uh, go into your prompt history or prompts that you want to reuse You can go into these, you can copy them, or if you just press this button, it'll take it right back into the prompt box and you can ultimately make edits and run. But then another part of this is your asset library. So here's where you will see all the assets that you've created, all the assets that you've uploaded. This is ultimately your housing of all those different assets. But what's really cool about this is that you can click into this and we now have image editing capabilities. So you can access this from your asset library or you can go into a project and click on images yourself. You can do filters, you can resize, you can crop the photo. You can draw on the photo. So maybe if you wanna do a fun little heart here, uh, you can do so. Uh, but you can also, quick apply there. You can also add text. So I know a lot of you have struggled with AI models not generating text. We're just gonna give you that capability right now by simply adding it here. Now you have a whole, whole bunch of font options. You can do italics, you can do alignments, you can adjust the size, you can adjust the color, the background of the text, the opacity, the outline in the shadow. So this allows you to layer over images that Charlie has already created, uh, but you can make edits to any of these as you wish. You can also upload photos that you already have that were not generated by Charlie and use these editing capabilities. This is how we're evolving the platform to be able to create the assets. I know that many people have said, oh, great, AI images are great for generating random stuff in like fairy tales, but they're not so good at talking about my product. Well, now you can upload your product photos and make edits to them. You can generate new product photos and then make edits and overlays with them. You can add stickers, frames, corners. This is just the beginning of how we're planning on using these image editing capabilities. Now, remember, you can save these, you can overwrite the existing assets. This is super easy for you to do but you can also access this if you just simply exit here and you go back to your projects. So simply go into a project that might have an image, which you can find with this little image icon. You can click on this and the editor will load. So you just make sure that you can make edits here and then ultimately you click download. If you want to download them, you can click uh, save if you want to overwrite uh, the existing file and then you click exit whenever you're done making updates. Now another couple things that you'll notice uh, as far as UI updates. So we heard that many of you uh, did not like the amount of text space that you could see. So what we did here is one, we've expanded the text box to be across the entirety of this. So you can still see your last prompt but notice you can collapse that or you can send this prompt back into the add content button. So if I click this, it will automatically go back to here. We'll go back into what those updates are in a second. But if you're in this project and you see the text, you can now collapse the image and the text goes across the whole, whole screen. So I'm super zoomed in right now. You'll have much more real estate to be able to make adjustments. Uh, we've also removed create mode. 
we were finding that it wasn't used. So this will only be for edits back to this content. Now notice we still have the Charlie Unleashed capabilities in here so that you can make edits to your text. We still have the last prompts, but ultimately you can use these uh, to create anything that you want. Now, we also know that many of you, once you're in a project, are struggling with what prompts you should create and what tools are available to you. So what you can do is you click into the add content button once you're in a project, and now you'll have a bunch of different icons that you can click. Eventually, we wanna make these things that you can save, functions that you can save, prompts that you can save, that you can just have readily accessible as your hotkeys here. So you can just click uh, blog and it'll update with that. You can click image and it'll click generate an image of, you can click transcribe, you can click research. And so all of these will have prompts readily available to you. You can also click this and it will give you a blank RTE that you can start writing in and ultimately making edits with Charlie. Now, another thing that you can run here is if you click this button, it will ultimately uh, regenerate your outputs. So a bunch of different updates here. We also fixed a bug with uploading audio video files and them not properly transcribing. So that should now work. We've also extended the file referencing capabilities. So you can, uh, you'll have additional context from files that you upload, but this is a big win. I think for anyone trying to create visuals with Charlie and use our image model, plus the necessary details to ultimately get you to a finished product that you can use for ads, marketing content, and anything else. So, a lot of updates here. We'll do specific posts about each one of these, but this is the longer form version of all the things that we've made updates to. So jump back in, give it a whirl, let us know what you think. All right, thanks.